Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Welcome to part 9 of the ephemera making for junk journals. This is such a quick and little, simple little idea that you can do and might have already done in the past. It's using your stamps to stamp on scrap pieces of paper and then you have a selection of little things such as these that you can go into and pull out when you're decorating your, your journal pages or journal covers and you have them ready to go rather than having to go and look for that particular stamp that you think might work with your journal. So in this video I'm going to show you how I store my stamps just very quickly. I'm going to speed up the process of the stamping and all of that because all you guys know how to stamp on a piece of paper and then at the end I'm going to go into my journal so it will be a little bit of um, like a junk journal with me session very very short one where I'll use some of these little things that I've got and I'll show you how I sort of you know apply them to pages and stuff like that. So the idea is for this to be an inspiration for you to go and do something creative today I guess. All right so let's get into it. Okay so since we're talking about stamps today I just wanted to show you the way that I store my stamps. So you can see here I've got DVD cases and then uh, I organized my stamps and I labeled what is inside. So we've got borders, alphabet, plants, planning, birds, etc, etc, etc. So these ones here I still need to organize. Uh, so let's say for example I would like some flowers. Here are my flowers and plants, uh, sorry flowers and leaves and then this one here is flowers. So I'm just going to pull them out. These are my flower stamps. What I have found is when I store my stamps inside, so you can see that in these single DVD case ones, the DVD used to go here. So when I store my stamps, or when you store your stamps rather, the stamp, you can see that the stamp is glued on this side and not on this side. Well, this side that doesn't have the actual stamp on it should sit on top of the CD case, uh, the CD slot. Because what I found is when I have this side sitting on top of the CD slot, I get indentations in my stamps and it ruins my stamp. So it's just something that I learned from experience. Okay, so now that I've got uh, these stamps out, I might as well use them. I'm going to choose a few more of my stamps. So what I will do, what I have already done is I pulled out all of my little offcuts. So all of these little things I also use and I'll show you uh, what I use them for and how I use them. This is from some cereal boxes from some packaging but like how cool does this inside look? It looks vintage and stuff. And then offcuts that I've had sitting around I think it's probably better to use if you have cardstock or thicker paper rather than like this. This for example is very flimsy paper. I'll still use it but you know this is scrapbook paper but a thicker sort of thick scrapbook paper I guess. Uh, a better quality one I guess and then yeah all of these little bits and pieces I'm going to use up and I'm just going to go and choose a few different stamps now and then I'll start. I'm going to start trying them out now. So I've got my distress ink and I've got my stamp. Uh, all of our stamps are going to be different obviously so you use the stamps that you have in your stash clearly. Uh, so I'm just going to test it out see how it's looking. Not bad I guess. So now I'm just going to stamp a whole lot of images and then I'll worry about what I'm going to do with them later. And now I might try another stamp. And then this is how I clean my stamp. I just get it all off this way. I don't actually wipe it down with a wet wipe or anything like that. It works fine for me. So now I'm going to use this flower stamp. Don't you find that once you find stamps that you love, you tend to stick with the same thing? I find that I'm always um, pulling out the same stamps. Oh, that looks beautiful. 
so on a really smooth surface this file folder is a really really smooth surface my stamp looks very crisp beautiful now I'm going to use this stamp you'll see it in a moment just some off cuts over here Okay, I'm going to use this tiny little stamp now it says enjoy the ride it's a tiny tiny little stamp but I'll show you on little off cuts like this I mean I'm not totally crazy I don't keep every single little piece of paper sometimes I do so I'm only crazy sometimes uh, I think it goes this way yes so you know I can use that let's see perfect now I'm going to do this tiny little stamp. It's it stamp. It says lovely. So I'm just going to do it over here. And then when I cut them up, ink them up, they'll look beautiful. This is another one of my favorite stamps that I always pull out, Dare to Dream. I use it a lot in my journals. So it will be good to have some, see how beautiful it is. So now once I have all of my little stamped images that I want to stamp, you know, then I will go ahead and see what I can do with them. So some of them I, I'm just going to cut straight and then ink the edges like this and then maybe ink a little bit more in the corner so that it gives it that kind of an edge, something like that. And then others I might go in and rip. So give me, an, let's find one that I want to rip. For example, I feel like this one, I want ripped edges. And that's why on some of the stamps I left space around because I knew that I wanted to come in and do some ripped edges like this. And this would look beautiful on a, a journal page. So I'm going to go ahead and finish most of this. Okay, I didn't do all of them, but I just wanted to show you the ones that I did and ones that I've done previously. They look so, so cool, so amazing. Once they, the edges are inked and, you know, they've been cut or ripped and the edges are inked and they look just beautiful. They look like images from books, you know. So then how you can use it is obviously, you know, I'm sure that you guys know, but let's say these are just going to be very basic examples. Let's say you have a very simple little tag and then you can just add a little simple thing down the bottom and then, you know, have a little ribbon up the top and it completes the tag. So there's not, you don't have to do a whole lot to it, you know, or even something like this. You can put it on the on the tag, wrap it around for a little bit more interest, maybe some stitching around and you're done. The card is done. Then let's say, for example, you have you've been making snipper um, clusters and I've made these before. And then focal point is always one of those things, you know, whatever you're making, you need a fo focal point. So let's say, for example, here. You put one of these on top and there's a focal point and it looks beautiful. It just draws your attention to that rather than, you know, what's this? Nothing. You know, there's a staple in the middle and then this way you put it on and it draws your attention attention to, to that. Uh, let's say maybe then we, we can do something like... Um, this is just a piece of packaging we can of course stamp on that too but we can do something like maybe some layering like this and it looks like let's just do this one for example and this can go right on top of a journal even though that's not the best uh, imprint imprint stamp you know imprint but like something like that could go you know even some, something like that like a little book plate on your journal done right or even you know something like down here so and another thing I had here is this uh, as you know I love using up leftovers and I just had this little thing made up from from some leftovers it's no big deal right just get, it will go into a pocket but you know I can have something on there now like this a little bird and then a little thing down here that says lovely or
maybe something like that for example layered or collaged or what would you call it? layering collaging i don't know something like that i don't know so uh the idea is you have these you don't have to pull out your stamps and look uh, look for your stamps or look for the correct stamp that you want to use you when you're decorating your journal you just want things that are ready you're following the muse you're feeling the inspiration you don't want to be breaking that by going to look for that thing that you think might look good Okay, so I thought maybe today, now that I've got all of these beautiful little things ready to go, I thought maybe we can spend some time together in a little junk journal with me session. Nothing major, maybe just five minutes or so. And I can go into my journal and use some of these to decorate. Oh, dare to dream. Oh, that looks beautiful. And then I can perhaps journal on... on my dreams or something I don't know and then I've got this random little piece there I covered up some writing so that needs something doesn't it so maybe I can do something like that I'm trying not to overthink it too much I just want to decorate a little bit just have a little bit of fun sometimes I like to go into my journal and just glue stuff down and decorate a little bit I don't feel like writing anything that's missing a little focal point right there you don't know that it's missing it until until you do something about it how would this look quite cute I actually really like it should I put it there I'm gonna put it there what do you think And let's see if I want to do anything else. Did I use that one already? Don't know. I'm using it now. As far as I'm concerned, anything I grab, anything, let's see, anything I grab well, looks good. You know, they all look really good because they're all like little embellishments. I'm thinking now even um, gluing that on a, maybe it's too big, but maybe gluing something like this on a paper clip would look quite cool, like an altered paper clip. I would have to use a uh, heat um, hot glue gun, which I really don't want to go looking for now. I mean, I know where it is, but I just don't want to be pulling it out now, in all honesty. This page we've done together. I love coming back to these pages because I always forget what I've done. And then when I go back in, I'm surprised with, you know, because I've forgotten and I've done so much since this was done in january 2020 so not that long ago but you know I, i've forgotten what i've done in this little spread maybe i can do something here oh, anywhere these these little guys look great anywhere they go little focal points but i'm feeling like i don't have any i didn't do any hearts or anything like that and i'm feeling like a little heart or something might look good here but even that looks quite nice. Cherish. And you, as you can see, oh yes, I've been wanting to do something on the back of this little tab stamp. Because this page I don't like very much, but I don't know. Maybe I can do something like this. I like that. Yes, I like it very much actually. Because these dolphins look like they are having the time of their life so enjoy enjoying the moment make the most of the moment you are in now especially with all of the stuff that's going on at the moment i think more than ever now we should make the most of the moment we are in now because things are you know 
very uncertain. I think that's my little sash. So sometimes, you know, just going in up to date stamps. Tomorrow I might I have some leftovers from a project I was doing and I have these laces and stuff. So tomorrow I might grab my journal and go in and, and add laces. So, you know, that's, I, that's what's been happening with this journal. I just love sometimes going in and doing a full spread and then at other times I'll just go in and I'll decorate here and there a little bit like this obviously it's not finished but you know I can keep adding to it that's why I love it because it's something new every time and I can look at things and enjoy them I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I know it's nothing groundbreaking but sometimes when you see information that you already know presented in a different way or just refresh your memory you know it might give you a little bit of boost of inspiration and that's what this channel is all about so i hope that you go into your stamps get them out start stamping on your scrap paper and i know you've got lots so this is also a good way of getting rid of those uh, scrap little pieces of paper and have fun stamping cutting inking ripping and before you know it you'll have a nice little selection that you can go into and pull things out of when decorating your journals thank you so much for being here and i'll see you in my next video bye